Contrary to what the media leads you to believe, guns are probably not as big of a problem in this country as you think. This video will give you some comparison of annual mass shooting rates and regular shooting rates in America. Mass shootings kill an average of 22 people a year. Lightning strikes are averaging 55. That's 250% more. However, I have yet to see Congress draw up a bill requiring wired grounding on your clothes. Mass shootings kill an average of 22 a year. Dogs kill an average of 34 a year. And dogs target children. More children have died than adults in that statistic. However, I have yet to see Obama shed a fake tear on national television about that. Mass shootings 22 a year, fire ant deaths about 20 per year. That's two more in the mass shootings category, which is perfect justification as to why every mass shooting has been on national news and no fire ant related deaths have been on the news. That's fair and balanced. Mass shootings 22 a year, bees kill about 53 each year. That's 240% more people dying from the bees. Now, my question is, if killer bees kill and guns kill, then why isn't the media giving these killer bees the propaganda they deserve? Here's an interesting statistic. The data link will be included below, of course. 22 mass shootings per year, 317 baby homicides per year. These are not accidents, folks. These are of malicious intent. That's 1,440% more deaths than the mass shootings. Is it fair that these children didn't get any media exposure just because they weren't killed by firearms? About the same number of people died in mass shootings as hangings. So don't forget that if it wasn't on the news, it doesn't mean that it didn't happen. Mass shootings 22. Texting while driving well over 5,000 a year. I wonder if the national news realizes that's 13 stories a day of crying relatives and angry congressmen unless unless it doesn't support the anti-gun agenda vilification. No evil guns involved. Nothing to see here. Move along. Now at this point most of you who did not realize the lack of national magnitude associated with mass shootings was in fact media hype induced might fall back on the statistic that it's regular shootings that are killing America. Let's take a look at some more 2011 statistics linked below that give us a better perspective on how many people are getting shot and killed in America. I think you'll see that regardless of the fact that the media tells you that evil guns are one of the biggest problems this country faces, the statistics show otherwise. Here's a pie chart taken from data directly off the 2011 National Vital Statistics Report. It represents 2,513,171,000 annual U.S. deaths and 11,101 annual U.S. homicides by firearms. Regardless of what the media tries to convince you of, the number of firearm deaths in this country represents 0.44% of the total deaths. If you wanted to compare that to a dollar bill, one penny is 1%. This is 0.44%, which is less than half of a penny. That should give you some type of perspective on the true number of firearm deaths in this country. So the next time one of those media hype induced mobs tries to convince you that this problem is so horrifying and so large that it's worth changing the foundation of this republic, Keep this chart in mind. 